well, COVID is is it's 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 just strange for everybody right now. But having a disability in normal life, sometimes it's hard. But I don't let it get me down. I suppose it's uh, really, really frustrating that you're not back in that you're not back in the day service, Christopher, and um, because. Uh, Nobody is back. None of us is back. Like myself is not back really, because we yeah. can't. You see, because of this yes. COVID nineteen. You see, I, I, it is, it's it's kind of sad because you're not looking forward for getting up in the morning. It's nice to have a looking forward for getting up in the morning and waiting for the bus to come to, to take us to, to day services. Mairead, what do you miss most during the lockdown? Uh, well, I suppose I miss hanging out with my friends, particularly. I miss sitting beside my friends at love time. I miss talking talking to my key worker, but I can email him. My job came to an end. Casa came to an end. It's caring, my Kazakh socials, my my Special Olympics. My brother couldn't come here. My brother couldn't come for my birthday. I don't know when I are half Friday. And I can go to work to the day server in RSW. For people, I know it can be very frightening and worrying for people with disabilities, definitely. You know, because when they don't know where they're going to go and what's going to happen, and, you know, because I'm not too bad, but there's a lot of them that are so used to just going out and having their days planned, you know, yeah. that I know it's much harder for them. And how, how did that make you feel? Upset, annoyed, anxious, can't see staff, can't see friends. It's, I really miss all of my friends. And uh, I, 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 I do talk to them. And I, I can't wait till it's all over to give, I give them all a, a big hug. So I might be getting out of here sometime, but I'm not sure yet to know because there, there are some of them problems. I was just a bit annoyed about when I was off work because no help and all like that. Though. And the, the staff can't come in at the moment, but we just chat at each other at the window sometimes. Have to call to me and then I'd often be outside for a while as well. Anyway. Lonely and scary and worried. I miss my friends. I miss my family. I miss my loved ones. And especially I miss Limerick. And especially, I miss the staff and centre and friends. I like going out in the boat, but it's hard, very hard. But I'm coping. The end of about March till June the 8th, I didn't leave the house. Except yeah. to go around the green with the dog. And the <laughs> dog is also in depression, like the poor dog. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's good doing all like that because I don't go in the daytime to places only in the evening where it starts more quieter the other way and all done as it is busy during the daytime most of them places the other way. I don't be near anybody and all like that close by. If I wanted to look at something that somebody else was there first, I'd wait instead and just wait for a while till they're gone. I would just wait and look at something else for a while anywhere if I was wanting to get something. Well, I have been active. I've been, I have been getting out and... The um, staff have um, stayed in contact with us as well, so we're not too bad that way. And I also used um, the equipment up in the park for the, the gym equipment and all that. Very good. Yeah. So you keep them fit and healthy? I do, yes. That's good. I do. Um, I like Sleep in. Sleep in. I, I get to sleep in. <laughs> you get to sleep in. Yeah. Everyone sleep in. Yeah. 
Well, I, I, I have learned a lot of skills that um, in, in, when you go into the supermarket, you, you have to wear a mask. Well, yeah. I found it quite hard at times with the pressing, you know. Then I found jigsaw, so to, you know, so I'm just making jigsaw, like, <laughs> and just doing, you know, generally just sitting around, like, because I don't see it great anyway, but the dreams I'm having this, this weather is weird. And how do you feel when you read the news or hear the news about COVID-19? Well, I'd be quite honest with you, I was nervous at the beginning. I was following the numbers and following the numbers who got it and who passed away for a good while. When I got tired of that, I said, it's, it's, it's going to be on for a long time. Is it? It's nice working with you.